Hey guys, once again it's Jeremy England coming to you with another uh, handgun hunting related video. And we've tackled a little project uh, you might see chucked up here. What we did, uh, our gonic muzzle loader, 50 caliber barrel for our Thompson contender. You probably, uh, if you've seen any of my past videos, I harvested a, a cull deer with it last year. One of the main issues I've had with the, uh, the end lines are the 209 primers. Uh, granted, they were a big improvement over your uh, number 11 and musket style caps and give you know better ignition. But one of the problems I always had was trying to fumble around with one of those things in, uh, in the woods, you know. And I conferred with a good friend Chris Rhodes, Bayside Custom Gunworks, and talked to him, you know, and I posed questions. I said, you know, why can't you take an existing inline muzzle loader? and convert it over to use pistol brass. And Chris, you know, he said, hey, I've done it before, it's very feasible. He said, it's not that hard to do. He said, basically use a 38 special brass. Uh, you ring your plug out and you cut your brass back. So what I did, uh, the breech plug here, I did nominal nominal measurement on the, uh, the breech plug itself. And the 209 pocket was right around give or take around 0 0.240 and I took a piece of 38 special brass right here standard piece of uh, Remington Peters 38 special nickel brass and of course I got my measurements after I sized it and it sized out at 376 well lo and behold uh, that's a 3 eighths of an inch plus a thousandth if you do your math 375 plus a thousand 376 thousandths and I thought, hey, I've got a rumor that'll fit that. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. So what I did is I, I drilled it out in steps and, and then reamed it in. I uh, first reamed it with a drilled it shy of, uh, shy of right around 370, and I reamed it out with a 1,000 Thunder reamer, which left it at uh, 374, and I turned around and then used my 1,000th over reamer, reamed it another 2,000th to 376. And... Lo and behold, it works. Uh, after I got it done, uh, before I cleaned everything up and polished it up, I took and put it in my gonic barrel with a uh, CCI, small pistol primer in there. I uh, took her outside and she went off like nobody's business. But uh, I polished up the bore and you can see there's, there's no wobble whatsoever in the brass. Uh, the one problem is the brass is too long and uh, basically took a uh, piece of 38 special brass and trimmed it down to where it's just shy of the uh, length of our breech plug and uh, in the following video you'll see the uh, some of the steps that was taken to make this but nonetheless you see we've got our standard 38 special brass and we have our ignition system now upgraded to a small pistol primer and the one thing that this does is it allows your powder charge to sit right on top of your ignition source and there's no air gap there uh, nothing to cause any delay you know I haven't like I said I haven't shot this off yet I haven't got the opportunity to take one of my pieces of brass load my powder up which I'm shooting 90 grain of triple seven with a 240 grain XTP and a Gonic Sabbat I've not had a chance to shoot it with this yet but I will and uh, reason being is it's raining cats and dogs. We've got some liquid sunshine out here today and I'm not able to get out today to do it. But if you'll stand by, I'll get you some video of that here as soon as the weather breaks. But I just wanted to touch base and show you what we were doing here. Neat little project, a very, very simple machining project just incorporates drilling and reaming. And we did some polishing after the fact and kind of slicked everything up and there we go. But we now have a foolproof, as you can see, with the uh, the chamfer that's on the breech plug from the factory, that's the factory chamfer. You can see it's just as simple as grabbing a hold of it, putting it back in. Not, not a problem, but uh, I modified a couple of pieces of brass, and we're going to go it out, you know, take it out and fire it off and see how she does. But anyway, keep watching, uh, following this, and you'll see some of the steps that we're used in bringing this thing out. Well, the first step of our uh, Breach plug conversion is uh, is complete. What we've done is we've center drilled uh, 
drilled all the way through the bore we're opening the bore up the nominal measurement on the bore is going to be between 376 and 377 and what we've done is we progressively stepped it up with these uh, letter bits and the next step right here with this one I'm going to go ahead and uh, run a ream through it once and open it on up a little bit more and then we're going to step drill it some more y'all stand by and we'll get you some more and here we're going to do our next step we're going to go ahead and ream it this is a uh, we drilled it last time at 246 this reamer here should be 249 it's 1000 thunder a quarter inch we're going to go ahead and ream it run her about 70 rpm taking us out just shy of the mean diameter of our uh, our reamer we're going to go ahead here in just a second and we're going to throw on our uh, reamers and ream this on out and take a test fit over 38 brass and see how it does in our new breach or in our modified breech plug keep your pants on for just a second let me uh, pull this drill out and get a reamer and we'll go for broke Let's see what we've got So we're going to worry too much about that. There we go. And we're through. Could be some chip on front of it.
with this to the brasher. Trying to clean off a few things here. Oh yeah, it looks good. Boy, looks really good in there. Uh, let's see, I've got a piece of 38 brass right here. And there we go. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in. For you. I'm trying to operate a camera and everything's bass backwards when I'm sitting. But there's your 38 brass on top of our new breech plug. And one thing that I like about this, it'll give you the ability to uh, actually grab that rim and pull it out. It's a little tight right now. I'm going to have to go in there and lap it just a little bit. It's just a smidge under what we need it to be. But I would rather have to lap out a little bit than to add to it. Stand by and we'll check her out and see how she fits up.